I feel like that total has dropped since the initial uh, off-season number I saw because they are kind of just marked down for 10 a year under under Kelly once they got things fixed after 2016 debacle. Um, hmm. I, I, I'm kind of with you on that in terms of that, you know, can you get into the playoff with one loss being Notre Dame without that 13th data point of a conference championship? Hasn't happened yet, uh, but they have been there twice in recent years. Um, and certainly 10 plus, you know, you're just talking about uh, having to get, I'll give them the loss to Ohio State almost certainly, right. 16 and a half the line in some places. Um, that's that's a that's a tall mountain, but Clemson with a DJ, uh, the quarterback coming in here, uh, I'm not even going to try to say his last name. I'll never get that right. You're DJ, the, the quarterback, you know, yeah. he, he he shredded them. Well, you're just showing off. He shredded them back in 2020, but I can spell it. I can't say it, but he hasn't really been good since. So, you know, I can see another, that's a toss-up game to me in November. And then at USC, who knows who, who, who will uh, pass through already on the way to the portal, who will feel underpaid in the new NIL system out there at, at USC. It is kind of wild. Uh, getting back to the Pete Carroll days, but it's all legal now.